What's up guys, uh, Jeff here, and welcome back to the weekly update right here on Deco Creek TV. Uh, so today's episode is gonna be all about solvents. Uh, what do they do, why do we need them, and how are we gonna use them for decorative concrete? So stay tuned and we're gonna tell you all about it. So in last week's video, uh, we talked about solid content and uh, you know that that's the part of a sealer or a coating that, um, you know, it might be in liquid form right now, but um, it's the part that's gonna become solid uh, as that coating dries out. And um, then we also talked about the carrying agent and that that's the part of the coating that allows us to actually work with it and spread it out the proper thickness. And then that's just gonna um, evaporate off um, as the coating cures. And so if you haven't seen that video yet, uh, please click on the link right here and then come back and pick this video up um, where you left off. Uh, so in last week's video, uh, we said that uh, concrete uh, sealers or coatings are generally either water-based or solvent-based. And uh, when it comes to the water-based options, um, you know, the carrying agent is just water. So um, there's not a whole lot to talk about there. Solvent-based products, on the other hand, are a whole different story. And, um, you know, depending on what solvent you actually have in your sealer or coating, well, it's going to change on how that coating is going to behave. And um, so I got some uh, xylene here. And I've got some acetone here. And uh, the thing is the acetone is a really fast drying solvent uh, where the xylene is a lot slower drying. And so, um, you know, if I had a sealer that was uh, really loaded up with a ton of acetone, it's gonna dry really fast um, and vice versa if it had a slower drying solvent in that. Now, keep in mind, um, I'm just using this as an example. Um, there isn't really any uh, sealers or coatings out there that have just acetone or just uh, xylene or just any one solvent for that matter um, as the carrying agent. Um, you know, it's just generally a blend of solvents um, that make up a carrying agent. And, um, you know, there's certainly uh, VO3 restrictions that, that need to be um, met on, on sealers. And um, there's a lot more that goes into, you know, why you would use a certain blend uh, of solvents in a certain coating or sealer, um, you know, that, that go above and beyond dry time and VOC content. But as it goes, um, you know, the faster uh, the solvent's gonna evaporate, the faster the sealer is gonna dry. So aside from being a carrying agent, um, you know, Solvents um, also have some other great uses um, in the world of decorative concrete. And so next week, we're gonna dive into the actual resin part of sealers and coatings. And, uh, but for now, uh, let's just say that acrylic sealers, uh, they can be actually um, re-emulsified and melted, um, if you will, with solvents. And coatings, uh, well, they really can't. Um, in fact, if you actually got a coating to actually melt from a solvent, well, it's never really gonna uh, dry up and get hard again after that. So this next part is uh, strictly just for acrylic sealers. So so solvents can be an incredibly effective way of actually fixing an acrylic sealer uh, that you got a problem with. And uh, you know, it's so, uh, some, using something like Rejuvenator is uh, so much better of a fix um, on acrylic sealer that's maybe turned white or um, you know, has some bubbles in it or maybe it got rained on a little bit before it was dry or you know, maybe it was just a high gloss coating that um, you know, you're trying to restore some of that gloss back. And so um, you know, using Rejuvenator is just a, so much of a better way to address that than just simply putting more sealer on the surface. And uh, so when we put this stuff on, um, it's literally gonna remelt that sealer and it's gonna dry up again and it's gonna really you know, help all those problems out. And one of my favorite lines is that um, you, know, you should really never put more sealer on top of a sealer that's already got a problem with it. Um, we need to fix the problem first and then we can address the sealer. And um, you know, if that means we gotta put a little bit more on later after the problem's been fixed, well, at least we know we fixed the problem with Rejuvenator. And um, it's also gonna actually soften up uh, what was left on there and allow that new sealer to uh, really get the best bond possible. And um, so, as it goes, um, you know, if you're having problems with acrylic sealer, uh, xylene, or even better yet, Rejuvenator is gonna always be the best place to start. Now, another thing that solvents are great for is cleanup. Uh, so if we're using any kind of a solvent-based product um, across the board, uh, we're gonna need some kind of solvent to, to use actually clean up. So um, let's say we're spraying some acrylic sealer. Um, well, xylene or even um, liquid release is a great way to actually run that through your sprayer, clean that thing out. That way it's not plugged up next time. Um, just make sure that you cycle a little bit of that through your sprayer so you don't get uh, whatever was left in there on the slab. Um, also, if you're doing a coatings job, um, well, solvents are a great way to clean up your tools. Um, and acetone actually is an awesome way to do a final tack wipe on a floor to actually pull all the final little dust residue 
off there. And um, just keep in mind um, when you're doing that, that um, you know, being inside in an enclosed area, just make sure there aren't any pilot lights or any um, open flames um, in that building or in your working area. And make sure that you follow um, all the uh, safety precautions with these products. And so another cool thing is denatured alcohol is also another uh, really cool solvent that we can use. And this will give us some, some really uh, cool effects in uh, metallic epoxy. And then um, I know we all know what liquid release is all about. And so um, a lot of different uses for this stuff, guys. Uh, please, if you have any questions on any of this stuff, uh, drop it in the comment section right below this video. If you guys like this video and uh, you found it helpful, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit that bell icon. Uh, if you want more information on decorative concrete, please visit our website, deco-cretesupply.com. Don't forget to tune in next week when we're going to talk about the resin part of this whole thing and kind of tie it all together. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next week.